Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today is Thursday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, and it follows up on yesterday's Gospel, and we're in chapter 17, and today is verses 20 through 25. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. All glory belongs to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is, For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke, Jesus was asked by some Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come. In their mind, it was a definitive time that would be suddenly realized by the arrival of a triumphant Messiah King. Jesus says, it's not going to be like that at all. The kingdom cannot be found by looking around for telltale signs so that you can say, oh, it's here or it's there. No, says Jesus, the reign of God is already in your midst. In other words, it's right in front of them. It is, first of all, in the very person of Jesus, who is the embodiment of of God's reign, for he is God. He is the Messiah King. He is the living incarnation of God's loving power, revealed in his authoritative teaching, his miracles, in his many healings, in his exorcisms and his freeing of those from the power of evil spirits, and in his compassion for the sinner and the outcast. All are very clear evidence of the reign of God in their midst. You know, in every age, including our own time, there are people who get worked up about the final coming of Christ But instead of focusing on a date in the calendar, we should be focusing on the realities of our everyday lives where to those with eyes to see, the reign of God can easily be discerned working in other people's lives and in our own. Whenever people are reflecting in their lives the vision of life, the values that Jesus revealed to us, the kingdom is already there those who are living as Christ asked us to, to the best of our ability. The kingdom is already there. And such people are not confined to just the church or religious leaders. They can be and are found everywhere. And they are commonly found in the households, in the neighborhoods, in the parishes, not working as bishops, priests, and deacons or religious, but as the common person, the common Christian who is living out their faithful life in Christ. 
So Jesus then turns to his disciples, telling them they will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but will not see it. You know, in the very early church, many were convinced that Jesus would make his final coming in their own lifetime. It is likely that from time to time, certain events were interpreted as signs of that final coming. We see that even today. People were saying that he is to be found in this place or that place. When we see earthquakes, natural disasters, terrible and bad happenings all over the world, aren't there those who are saying, oh, the time is coming and we're going to see Jesus here. Jesus said that when his day does come, it will be like the lightning that flashes from one end of the sky to the other. It will be both sudden and everywhere. In the meantime, Jesus said that he must suffer much and be rejected by the present age. Words which clearly refer to his own suffering and death but which can also be applied to the whole risen Christ, including the church, his risen body, right into our own day and age. So on the one hand, look, the reign of God is already here among us. And we need look no further than the daily experiences of our own lives to know and experience the power and presence of Jesus. On the other hand, the time of that final coming, which will wipe every tear from our eyes and be the end of all suffering and rejection, is not for us to decide, nor to be anxious about. As usual, after our closing prayer, reread the scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, how you may spiritually grow closer to Jesus in friendship. Let us complete a divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please ring the bell and hit the subscribe all button and help support our channel. And share these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Alexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus, peace and blessings to all.